Steve's first nine air was Mutation at the legendary Raven Tour, established in 98 and still the Peak District's hardest climb. Going out, getting some pictures, going out less than a cracker. Yeah, couldn't make that work, it was so early. Set me up a little bit. Oh, that is rubbish. How is it? <laughs> yeah, disappointing is the word, isn't it? I think that's the worst hold I've ever seen on a route. There's just nothing there. I mean, it's like... It comes to there on my fingertips. Like, if it was a foothold, it'd be a bad foothold. Oh no, this hold's terrible as well. And doing this top wall feels like as hard as evolution. I mean, I know it's, you can't really tell from, like, one quick play, but the holds are so small. I think it was a gust of wind blew me up it. You basically do pretty much all of evolution to the last quick draw. And you've got a couple of difficult setup moves leading to what turned out to be the, the red point crux, which is a really weird kind of throw over move. You're slapping over your right hand with this pinch and it, it doesn't look very difficult but when you actually come to do it it just feels feels wrong. It's all timing, it's really dynamic. When you get it wrong you feel as though you're a million miles away. You do this dynamic slap over move. Grab this pinch with your left hand, and then you, you've got a difficult hand change. Change hands, change to your right hand, clip. And you reach for this tiny, tiny edge, which I mean, it's not that bad, it's just a bit thin and a bit small. Long reach from that bad edge to another bad edge. And then the final move is a, a long pop for a, a small pocket. I think that's the most difficult move on the route, to be honest. You've really got to hit the hole just right or you, you're out of there. I used to be psyched by grids, for sure. It's a, a marker. You can tell when you're improving. Maybe I always dreamt that I would maybe climb a certain level, achieve that, and then it just didn't matter anymore. That was Britain's second route of the 9A standard, but it wasn't until Steve climbed the world-famous Northern Light